very good. Let's uh, move to, um, let's see, I want to move to Dr. David Walker, who is with the Skin Deep Show on Sirius XM Radio. Congratulations to uh, Jeff and to Nicole, uh, 25 years, and also to, to Will. Um, Thank you, sir. As you have thought about these 25 years of success, I'm sure you can attribute many things for that success. But if you could just narrow it down to maybe one or two major things that you could attribute to your success. The, the two things are really simple and straightforward. One, community. Okay. We've had people Everyone said yes from how the remember the first year, Halle Berry, Bill Duke, Robert Townsend, John Singleton, our brothers no longer with the Spike Lee. We have always had people who trusted us. And what Nicole and I, we center ourselves and always tell the truth and be credible in business and our personal relationships. So that because of that, people trust us. So the trust of the creative community, number one. Okay. Now, when we call Hallie, hey, we're going to Acapulco. Really? Acapulco? Oh, okay. It'll be great. How don't worry. You know, Rob Towns, it'll be fun, right? And then what we didn't tell you was we tried a plane out of L.A., and everybody, the original soul plane, everybody got on the plane and came to Acapulco, right? The original soul plane was us. Trust. But you got to earn people's trust. Right. You have to show up. You have to deliver. The second thing is cor corporate support. Okay. We have an enormous amount of corporate support. And the reason we have corporate support is because this, you, you know, doctor, this was, we were protesting Hollywood without scaring people off. You know, there's a way to protest and scare the power, the, the power broke us off, but there's also a way to protest in a sophisticated way where you make them follow you. And so my passion is not really even about, people, I'll tell you a secret, that won't be a secret in a minute, but my passion is not even film and TV. My passion is black success. Okay. Okay. I just chose film and TV as a, as a, as a, there was a lane that I could be influential and help people. We chose that. My passion is black entrepreneurship, black people helping each other and black success. So we convinced corporations like HBO and Cadillac and American Airlines and NBC Universal, and now Netflix, Amazon, and others to take the ride with us. And, and most of it revolves around credibility. We go to sleep every day, we lay ahead and pillow, knowing that we try to do the right thing every day. So that's it. Community and corporate success is what we, and those relationships have sustained us throughout. Even in the worst times, when we went through the recession in 20, 2008 and nine, and Nicole and I were selling stuff to keep this going. You no, know, even the worst time, that's what we really had to rely on. So those are, that's the secret to us, to being able to bring people together and always deliver. And then my second question will be for uh, Will and Jeff, you can also jump in, is uh, what are your thoughts about the current state of the richness of black uh, films, black TV, black producers that we have now? What's the current state, um, your thoughts about the current state of the richness of blackness in film and media? Yeah, no, Brother Walker, that's a great question. I, listen, I'm very um, uh, emboldened about where we are right now. The fact that you've got more diverse voices than ever before telling stories at the biggest level, the biggest platforms, right? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. I just think we got a long way to go. Sometimes we, the film industry works in cycles and that's not just like, you know, black film, white, it's just always cycles, it's cyclical. It's a reactive industry. What's working now, everybody chases that. And then, you know, once it stops working, everybody runs away from it. I love the fact that we're seeing the economic value, the industry seeing the economic value in films that are fronted and created by black creatives, black narratives. I love that. It's a good time. We've got a long way to go. It has been generations within this industry that we did not have these images, that we did not have folks that look like me telling these stories. So we still got a long way to go, but I do like where we are. I think we're in a good place and I wanted to keep going. Thank you. Thank you. I have somebody 